Right, hello everybody. Just going to do an easy 30 minutes of work today. Um, basically just breaking it up another interesting way. We've sort of done a little bit like this before. Um, but yeah, we'll just um, we'll set our machine uh, to a variable interval and basically just count down some time markers and equals 30 minutes, okay? Um, it's, a, it's a really cool way because um, to sort of break it down, you can do it in any different way that you want, okay? You could do five minutes at something and then seven minutes and then 13 and a half minutes, you know, whatever it might be. Um, this is just... <laughs> It's just a nice way, nice even numbers. We're just counting down, um, yeah, as it works. So really, really simple. Um, you know, the sort of first 24 minutes of it is, is just you 2 pace. Just We're just pushing it along, getting our tempo, um, and then it's only really, I guess probably in the, even in the last two minutes, it's going to start raising the heart rate a little bit too much, but um, shouldn't be an issue. You know, we're just going to be looking for good rhythm, good consistency, just moving along. And by the end of it, we'll have done 30 minutes. We would have had really good technique. We would have worked to a really good rhythm. Uh, and boom, we've done our, our training for the day. So let's lock and load, um, get into it, do a, do a little bit of a warm up. Um, you know, probably only needs to sort of be two, three, four minutes. Um, as I say, just enough to get things moving, um, you know, it is one thing that I'm trying to work on a little bit more at the moment is, is yes, I am, and, and people have said it on the video where I've, they notice that, like my legs, my I'm not getting too much over here like that before I bring my legs up, you know, because ultimately, yes, in the basic context of the stroke, you know, it's arms, body, move forward, and then it's legs, body, arms, you know, basic technique of the stroke, but that fluidity of being able to get through here and around, it means that, like, I'm just not flexible. You know, if, if you were flexible, you could probably get some really good hip movement. I'm not. Um, but I still think even if you were really flexible, if you're locking it out like that, then you're in that position, you've got nowhere to go. So when you're in there, you, like, you've got nowhere to go. Your body's already set, and it's sort of rigid coming forward. And that's what I talk about, that elastic, that, that roll into the front, you know, so... That part through the last through here is where you'll be set there, ready to take it. Okay, so that first bit before, yes, you are. You don't want to be sitting back here and then go and set, obviously. But we want to have a have a thought pattern that, yeah, the chain is pulling the body forward. We are coming forward. And it's just a natural set into the front. You know, it's not like a dip to get to the catch. Um, we are set and we have got the core engaged. You know, we've got the legs set, we've got the, the pressure coming onto the feet, um, but it's done elastically, you know, nice and relaxed. There's no, at any point, are we like, oh, I feel like I'm tense, you know, like I'm rigid. I want to get rid of that rigid feeling. And it just means that instead of, you know, like that's the arms locked, it's just a tiny, tiny little bit. You know, it's not like that. It's just like just backed off from what it is. And that, that last bit comes in as we have that take up. You know, just as we get to there, we feel that that connection and the everything coming together. Okay, so that's the thought process. Um, I just sort of explain that. And now we are into setting up our work and getting into it. So let's uh, let's get to our workout, new workout. We're doing intervals and we're doing variable. And we're just doing variable time. And so we set the first one at 10 minutes, no rest, okay, no rest. We're just going all the way. Uh, second one will just be take that down uh, to eight minutes. No rest again. Our third one is just six minutes. And then the fourth one is just four minutes. And the last one is two minutes. So really, and then, yeah, no more intervals. So it's a really easy in these to have that focus, okay? Um, you know, a little bit more focus so we have a really good good push and a good speed. We find out what our speed is, our average speed is for that 18. 
And then when we go to 20, we use free speed. We move the hands a bit quicker. We look for a bit more acceleration. And then for eight minutes, we focus on that and we're gonna have a little bit faster speed. Heart rate comes up slightly, a bit more of a puff on, start getting a bit more of a sweat on. And then we change into that six minutes at 22. So that 22, again, because we've gone through quite slow and heavy to a little bit more accelerated, this should feel really accelerated, okay? So it should be a little bit more on the legs, that acceleration and body. Think about that. Think about that, creating the speed of what we're doing. Um, you know, speed will come up again. We'll go a little bit quicker. And then it's really just managing that last sort of six minutes once we hit that four minutes and two minutes to go. So um, easy peasy. Nice, and honestly, 30 minutes, we're going to crank it out. So, you know, if you want to do this sort of a similar workout to this yourself um, later on, just chuck a 12 minutes on the front, you know, and you could even just keep, um, you know, keep the rates lower, or you could start pushing up depending on how fit you are, or else just do like one at 18, then two at 20, or you could split the third one up and do half at 22, uh, half at 20, half at 22, you know, as we've done in some of the previous workouts. It's just pretty much just trying to break it up because, yeah, you could just sit here and do 30 minutes, but we're just always looking for focus, you know, and it's hard to get focus and look for technique and little pointers and things like that. Um, looking at 30 minutes, you know, counting down 28 minutes, you're like, oh, man, it's ages to go. Whereas this is just 10 minutes. This will count down really quick. You'll get halfway, you work on your numbers, and then you go, okay, crikey, I've got less than a K to go. Um, now I've only got 500 metres to go because you'll be working it out in your head, and then you just work on that, and then, then it's a change, and it's a mental focus, um, and, you know, we take it up another gear. So let's do it. <sighs> right. So here we go. 10 minutes at 18 rate. It's looking for a good, good push. Here we go. Rope. So even in the first part of this, getting the rhythm. Feeling the patience, feeling the time forward, the momentum. The push. Sitting tall. Nice. And relax. Nice and smooth. This 18 allows us to feel a symmetrical drive both sides hanging together.
Nice. If you can, you know, maybe even look at watching your force curve for this workout. You know, if you're not used to it, might be something to to watch while you're rowing along. Feel that pressure all the way through the drive. The arms are out long. Sitting nice and tall. And just like that, we're five minutes down. We've had a good focus, looking for improvement, holding our speed. Feeling our rhythm. Working for little points. All these bits and pieces for marginal gain. Good. flow. Focus the core and the hand movement around the back. The hands come to us from the swing. And move away with the chain. that movement and then we know that the feeling at 18 of one speed 
back to the front. Bug in the nose. Shouldn't have left my door open in the garage. A good working zone. That's nice. Really good. Nice rhythm. So we're getting ready to make a change. So all we're doing, a little bit more acceleration. Okay, the hand movement. Here we go. That's it. Body comes back off the legs a little quicker, and because that happens, that handle movement around there has to move same speed. So it's speed in, speed out. Patience. We should have had a drop in speed or an increase in speed. Increase in watts or joules if you're using those. Measurements. Good. Feel the push. The push and hang. Good rhythm. Hanging. Heads up, sitting tall,
Yeah, nice. Nice momentum. Yeah, feel the lower back. The push through the lower back. The body swing at the hips. Nice. This is a good rhythm. Feeling the momentum around there. Work the drive, relax the recovery. Yeah, really good movements. Good focus, guys. And keep those numbers. So breathe into it. Want to hold them. Feel that work rest, the ratio. The only tension's here, and we let it go. You get so much more speed by not using energy going forward. Good. Nice rhythm. Working on your specific areas, little bits. Focus it for the next five to ten strokes. Go. That's it. Keep the focus. Evaluate. Nice. Carry, carry that handle from here to the finish with the legs and body. Good. Momentum. Listen to your flywheel. So we're moving up again. Remember, just acceleration. The power will come with it because you need that 
little bit extra to bring the body through. Now let's tap it along. So not overworking it. Yeah, moving free. Relax. Remember, handles in, handles out. So we're moving a bit quicker. We've got that metronome feeling. So let's focus the front. The pick up. Onto the feet. Good. Good movement. Good hand. Remember, should feel like a tap. Letting the body do the work. The legs are pushing. That's good. We're compressing and we're back in the lazy boy having a beer. Yeah, good. Hands around. Good rhythm. Push. That's nice. Breathing. Let's focus the sit up. Good. Hands around. Drawn over. Now we've got that good. Back around the front. Coil. Spring. Remember, tap, change in direction. Good. Nice and free. Dial it in. Breathing.
Good. Good focus. Body positions. Yeah, good. And change. This is a little bit faster. It's only four minutes. Remember, tap. No big push, but big power. Just move. Move with the metronome. Good. If you just loosened up, move the hands, keep them free. Just like that, we're on to the zone. Under the armpits, feel the hand. Nice. Tap along. Falling tall, heads up, keep it up, remember hang, push and hang, hands around, good. Change in directions, front, back, front, back. Good. Relax muscles. Relax the face. Good work. And the lats. Nothing in the shoulders. Shake it out. Good. And we go. So a bit more speed. Tap. You 
you know how many meters are left. Work on that. Free flow. Tap the body and around. No bruises. Focus the swing. Accelerate it. Off the leg. Breathing. Relaxing. Last minute. Ready? Around the front. Around the back. Compress. Lazy boy. Compress. Speed of the flywheel. Move around. Around movement. Not in and out. Good set up. Hold this. Good. Nice. And just like that, there goes 30 minutes. So we'll breathe it out. We probably started working pretty good into that final bit. So it was great to feel the ease of speed, that rhythm, you know, and ultimately just working on those little points that we need to, to improve. No, really good guys. Now hopefully my voice cues are, uh, I guess, being understood, first and foremost. And they're sort of at the right places where they make a difference, okay? So, you know, give me some feedback because ultimately, you know, once you go up and rate, you know, I started focusing that around the front a bit more because, you know, at 18, it's really hard to get that turn. You know, it's really hard to feel that sort of turn through there because it is heavy and it's, it's more of a load and a push. But once you hit that 22 to 26, it's really crucial, you know, like you come in and you're out. You know, you're almost thinking about pushing out before you get there. And so that becomes critical because, you know, at 26, if we go in and then try and, like, push it out like that, um, obviously that's going to be tough and it's actually going to be counterproductive. You know, it's not going to give us the feeling or the, the roll of the flywheel that we're looking for. You know, because we always want this flywheel to be spinning as much as possible. And, you know, it's, that's when I talk about the work rest because, see, on the recovery, it's still still spinning. Okay, it's not on the water where we've got to think about balance and, you know, whether we crash into the front and we kill the boat speed. The flywheel is moving, okay? So we've made it move. Now, don't use any energy. You know, use the energy for here on the next stroke, okay? And it's just a numbers game. It's a maths and physics, you know, if you can save, if you can save two watts per stroke on the recovery, and you're pushing 400 watts for a piece, let's say a 2K, where you're going to do roughly 200 strokes, just multiply that together, and all of a sudden, you've got another stroke, okay? And a stroke is a second and a half to two seconds. You know, the full length, and it's, I don't know, 12 metres or so. So you've just gained 12 metres. So you've gained two and a half seconds on your time just by being relaxed, okay? And I trust me, I guarantee it, even if you just did a piece now and you thought more about the relaxation than anything else, 
guarantee you go faster. Okay, so things like this. We are starting to work a little bit harder up here, but it's that accelerated work. It's that easy speed work. It's not power work. We do that at other times. And it's a progressive work. You know, like, so if we kept going up, if we were to hit 36, if we kept doing a minute, a minute, a minute past that point, would you start pushing more pressure? Or would you just keep thinking about those points that I was talking about, you know, that acceleration around the front, the moving the hands? Because ultimately that's what we want to think when we start getting further up into that area. And, and that's, that is for more endurance stuff, okay? Ultimately, if we were just doing a 500 test or a one-minute test or something like that, we probably wouldn't even be doing this training, okay? So, yes, this training is reasonably specific for, for longer periods of time on the rowing machine. Um, but that's what we want to find out as well, that, that increase. You know, some of those pieces that we've done um, in the past, all it's doing is as you increase the rate, you want to increase the speed. And yes, it's going to get in a smaller increment, but we want to learn how to do it as easy as possible so we can be really efficient when it comes time uh, that we have to put ourselves under pressure and we have to actually do the test. That's when we want to be able to know that we can do it. Um, because we've practiced it, okay? And so that's that's the basics of it. You know, really, really simple. Really, really simple. So today was a great session for that. It was really easy. I found that first 24 minutes, just a piece of cake, good sweat on like that. And then I had to focus a little bit more for those last parts, okay? So um, if you were the same, awesome. Um, so yeah, let's, uh, let's keep improving. Let's keep erging. Uh, let's keep doing our thing. And uh, yeah, keep watching this space, still working on, on stuff, but it's coming, thick and fast, lovely now, awesome. Okay, thanks a lot team, we'll, uh, we'll catch you for the next one.